This one is for the boys with the booming system. Top down AC with the cooling system. When he come up in the club, he be blazing up. Got stacks on deck like he's saving up. And he ill, he real, he might got a deal. He pop bottles and he got the right kind of bill. He call, he don't. What's up YouTube, it's Michael Lee and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be installing my wig. And as you guys can see, I have my braids in right now. So I'm just going to be gelling back my um my edges so they, you know, don't get damaged or whatever. I'm going to be using um the Got To Be Glue. I always use that for my edges because it just makes my edges stay in place or whatever. And after I put the um the Got To Be in my hair, like I just blow dry my hair so it can like dry up and stay in place. Because I hate when my edges get like all tangled up with the glue and the lace and... It's just too messy and be pulling my edges down like that. So, yeah, just make sure my edges protected by um, gluing them back. So next, I'm gonna take my um, ball cap or whatever and just put it on top of my braids. And I like to do the ball cap method because it's like the most natural look to me. I don't really like to just put the wig on and like I don't I don't know. I need to do the whole entire like ball cap method, glue down all of that. Like that's like the best method to me. So I'm just making sure all my edges is pushed back and I'm going to be like putting makeup on the ball cap so it can like match my skin. Now, I don't really wear like foundation and I know a lot of people use foundation to put um on top of the cap and I don't have that. So I was just using like this like contour palette thing. It was like this powder that I used for the thing. So it didn't really like make the ball cap like exactly my skin color, but it did tone it a little bit. So it was better than nothing. But next time I do this, I'm definitely going to, um, I'm going to get foundation for that because I really like the way it looks when people use foundation and it really matches like the exact skin color of their, you know, their skin. So I feel like that's the best method to do, but I didn't have that at this point. So yeah, that's whatever. So after that, I'm going to use the, um, got to be free spray, free spray. Whoa. And I'm going to basically um, put the, the free spray all over my edges, like my hairline, to make sure the, um, the bulk cap stays like down, you know, stays glued down. So as you guys can see, I used the rat tail comb, like the end of the rat tail comb, to evenly spread out all the um, got to be free spray, just so it's not like a whole bunch in like one spot, you know. And then I used the blow dryer to dry it all, just so it's all hard and dry and it's not like still wet and it won't get messed up when I actually apply the wig. So I actually put makeup on before I put the free spray and then I put makeup on once um it's dry also. So I put like two layers of makeup only because like I said, like I don't have foundation. So I would just try to do like my best and try to make it my skin color. So then when I started cutting, I always start cutting by the ear and make sure like it wraps around my ear. And I don't, I just make sure like that part right by my ear doesn't lift up. So like if it's starting to lift, I just like try to glue it right back down and make sure that it's dry before I start to cut the rest of the, um, the cap. So once the cap is dry, I go ahead and take my scissors and start cutting around um around my hairline. Like I don't do it like right next to my hairline only because I have a big forehead, so I have a lot of space for the um wig to go for the lace, you know. So I do it like a little bit in front of my hairline. As you guys can see, it's like a lot in front of my hairline, but I'm gonna like cut more because I didn't realize how like much of the cap was like still on my forehead. So I like went in and cut it like OD before I put the wig on because that was just like too much that was yeah <laughs> So once the rest of the cap is cut off like I go ahead and put some more makeup around the edges just so um you know my hairline looks natural and then I cut off the excess on the back of the cap then I go in with the ghost bond glue this is like the best glue like that lasts for mad long I know bow hold also works but I just never use that so I use ghost bond and of course I couldn't get the glue to come out so yeah that happened but basically I put this all around like you know where the edge of the um ball cap is at so this is like basically where I'm going to be applying the um the wig eye, this is where the lace is gonna be. So I apply it all over the hairline. This is one layer at first. And I just make sure like the whole thing is even. I don't leave it like this, obviously. Then I go in with my rat tail comb and I like spread it out basically so it's like all even. And it's like not any like, you know, really white, um, white parts of the glue. Cause if you leave the white parts, then it's gonna get like dirty once you like wear your wig. Like, like it's gonna, I don't know. It's just not gonna look good. So you have to make sure it's all like evened out 
and after you like even out the layer of the glue um use your blow dryer to you know dry the um glue so you can go ahead and put a second coat just so it's like because for me like i don't take my wig off every single day like once i apply it like it's on you know some people take the wig off every single day and reapply it every day i don't have time for that so i make sure that when i apply my wig like it lasts for a couple of days so basically what I'm doing, I'm going to take my wig and I'm going to apply the makeup all over like the lace inside of the wig just so it can match, you know, the ball cap in my skin. Because not only does the ball cap have to be like um, nude, so does the, the lace of the wig just so it could like blend easier. So if you ever installed the 613 hair, you know it has mad flyaways. So basically what I was doing, I was putting mousse on like all around the, um, the hairline of the lace. And basically I was like brushing it back just so it wouldn't be like messy. Make sure that all the, um, I was just making sure that all the flyaways was like laid back and they wouldn't get in the way when I was like, um, gluing down the lace. So now I'm like putting the wig on just so I could like see like how I want it to be, you know, position measurement wise. This wig came with comb, so it's kind of easy to tell like if it was in the middle or not you know so that was easy but um that i couldn't really see what i was doing there was no mirror and i was looking into the camera so i had to just like change my position so sorry if this isn't the best angle of me you know like installing my hair i just needed to like look at myself in the mirror and i was kind of rushing because it was literally like an hour before my birthday and i didn't want to spend my birthday doing my hair so i was trying to like hurry up and rush but yeah so once i put the wig on i was applying the second layer of the got to be not the got to be the ghost bomb like I said, you need two layers because I'm not doing my hair every single day. Um, yeah, so I, you see my best friend. <laughs> but basically, I spread this out again. This is the second layer, so it should already be sticky. Because once you dry the ghost bond, the first layer, it should be sticky. So the second layer should definitely, like, make sure the lace is, like, intact, melted down. And, you know, it's not going anywhere. After I spread the, this layer out evenly... I'm gonna go ahead with the blow dryer again just to make sure like there's no more white glue like everything is clear do not apply your wig or put the lace down on top of the glue if the glue is not clear yet if it's still white just let it dry make sure it's sticky before you do that so I didn't even realize this but I actually didn't even like get to film me cutting the lace on camera I didn't even realize that but basically I think my camera died or something or I don't know what happened but um so basically what i did was i cut the lace and then well i cut the excess lace and then i just put the the hair like on top of the glue and just made sure that it was even you know i didn't get to finish my hair this exact day like i need to do a whole story time on that but yeah i didn't get to finish my hair i was just cutting the um lace this is actually my first time ever cutting a lace and installing a wig by myself so i was struggling but it came out nice so yeah So I just realized that I never came back and actually showed you guys how my hair came out because I was in a rush. It was the day before my birthday. Today is my birthday. And my hair is done. I had to take it out and reinstall it. But this is pretty much how it ended up coming out. You know. It didn't come out exactly how I wanted it only because like I was in a rush when it came to like going down my um my lace. But you can't even tell like anything's really, really wrong with it. But yeah, this is how my hair looks. Let me get it back up so you guys can see the full length. You still can't even see it. But this is 26 inches. Um, this hair is by Bronze Beauty. Um, I actually am a brand ambassador for Bronze Beauty. So I'm gonna leave the link to buy the hair in um my description box. So like go check that out, whatever, because this hair is mad good. And you can use my code Michaelia10 with the capital M, capital L to get 10% off your purchase because oh yeah this is pretty much how it came out and I'm very happy with the results so yeah I'm definitely gonna be reusing this hair to make it another color after I'm done with um silver because you can get like almost any color from this and I might as well reuse the wig to make a different color so that's what I'm gonna do which shows you how good this hair is like stiff wear okay but um this whole video was a voiceover but i'm gonna just like end this outro with my regular voice like well not my me talking to the camera <laughs> yeah so if you like this video if this video helped you give this video a thumbs up comment down if you want me to do more like wig videos wig videos wig related videos you know we whatever make sure you subscribe i hit 3k yes we finally hit 3k like if you're new welcome welcome so if you like this video Stay tuned for more, and I'll see you guys in the next video.